dispatched him upstairs to recuperate and to see that the rest of you do not get infected. He really does send his deepest regrets. He was very much looking forward to this evening. So um, our welcome and I would just fill in for him. We are especially pleased to introduce Baroness Knight of Colling Tree, who will sing our national anthem. She'll be accompanied by Lucinda Sells on the piano. Baroness Knight? Well, uh, do I? Where's Rupert? Yeah. Rupert. <laughs> I lost him. <laughs> Not for long. Before I do, uh, as I'm told, I just wanted to say a few words because I think Mrs. Sussman, Excellencies, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, all of us are tremendously fortunate to be partying in this magnificent house. I think it has to be one of the most magnificent in London. And, of course, as far as we Brits are concerned, it's not that old, because it was only <laughs> just at the start of the last war that they, they built it. That's rather lovely, I think. And um, don't be fooled by that, because the land on which we stand uh, was actually mentioned in the Doomsday Book. And another thing I thought was fascinating is that it, it used to be called Marylebone Park, if you please. And King Charles I actually used it as collateral so that he could afford to buy arms and ammunition to fight the Civil War. Uh, so we are on a very, very special place. And we were all very sorry indeed, Mrs. Sussman, to hear of your husband's illness this evening. And from all of us comes to him our very best wishes to get better quickly, whether it's a bad cold, whether it's worse, or whatever it is, we're so sorry that he's not <laughs> able to be with us because we would like to thank him, but actually we may thank you uh, that we are able to be here tonight. Now, most of you are here because you're part of the American Society. I'm here because I'm chairman of Sulgrave Manor, which we're very proud of, because it's the ancestral home of George Washington, the first and best chair, uh, president of the United States of America. <laughs> right over there. <laughs> right over there. Not far to look at him. And um, we care about Sulgrave very much because it is the one, it's unique, in being the embodiment of the one place that symbolizes our close relationship, the close relationship between America and Britain, which some of us are very, very anxious always to keep green. And as chairman of Selgrave, I should be delighted to welcome you all to the House of Lords on the special function we've got going for you on the 29th of June. And we all hope that you will come to Sulgrave uh, for our special Independence Day celebrations uh, on July the 4th. So very much do we want you to do that. Now you all know Lynn. What Lynn says has to be done. There's no <laughs> doubt of that. And she it was who said, somewhat to my horror, that I was to sing solo the first verse of the Star Spangled Banner. Take it away, Lucinda. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. 
Listen. Wait, wait, Lynn.